because, and I understand that most of the retail buyers want a lower cost of capital so they can go out and buy their, their dream home or their first home or their second home. Um, as I told you before, the Fed has, has paused on that, but you're going to hear some information and I'm going to let you know why this is happening here in a second. Uh, and you're going to hear it in, in this video here in a second of why this is going on. But I'm going to give my commentary as well, guys. But there is a foreclosure frenzy going on, guys. Just want to let you know what's going on. So let's, let's dive into this real quick. Here we go. Boom. All right. Let's go get it. In. Here we go. Folks, the foreclosures are happening right now. The banks are taking people's houses, like this one right behind me. You can see this mm. house is very clearly vacant. No one's living here, and there's a sign on the door talking about how this property is under management from Guardian Asset Management, a mm. receiver for the bank who foreclosed on this property. And they're mm. talking about how it's going to be offered for sale soon. And foreclosures like that are starting to pop up more and more across the U.S. housing market, with Adam Data Solutions just releasing a report saying that there was a meaningful spike in foreclosure activity in the first couple months of 2024 wow, as more you see and more that? people more and more homeowners are running out of money not able to pay the bills and the mortgage on their house so right there guys you, you hear what he, he just said guys all right he focused on um not so much the property values he focused on the income that said homeowners are may not have because the cost of it's really because of inflation, the cost of goods and services just, just to live on have gone on so much that they can't afford their mortgage payment anymore. 